We are replacing this headlamp today because the dealer said the ballast and the seal was cracked and the bulb will just not work. They wanted $1,600. I was like, no way. So I did find a new headlamp online for $460 and we're going to try to put that in today. I did find these diagrams on infinityhelp.com. It is for a coupe, but I have a sedan 2009 and it worked great. These are the tools I use to remove the bumper and the headlight. You'll start by removing these six clips once the hood is up. I did use a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, but you got to be real careful because they can break. Here's the picture of the socket wrench I used for this project. I did also use a 10 millimeter crescent wrench um, to get access to some bolts that you just couldn't get to with a socket wrench. As you see here, it's kind of sticking out um, by the headlamp. But once you take that bolt out, you pull the skirting, well, it's not really skirting, it's more of like a bumper fascia part, and you'll have access to the bolts for the headlight, and here's some more radiator bolts that you'll need to take out. And then up underneath the car, there's some bolts that need to come out, so you can drop the driver's side portion of the bumper to have access to the screws underneath the headlamp. So here's also two more screws behind the skirting on the driver's side tire. Once those are removed, you can see that you'll have access to pull that out and down. See that there? And you'll have access to take out your headlamp. And then there's going to be another screw or a bolt back up to the left side here on this picture. Then you have, it basically comes out. However, there's an electrical component that I put in here right here that needs to be disconnected from the back of the headlamp before it comes out freely. And one more clamp. There's a little screw there that clips to that clamp and that needs to come out. And then once you put the new headlamp back in, here's a picture of the crescent wrench on the bolt underneath the headlight. And then make sure you put your clips and bolts back in and you're good to go. If you noticed earlier in the video, there was a scratch on that bumper by the driver's side tire. Well, I took care of that with some rubbing compound. It looks really good now. So it's a brand new headlamp, looks really good. And thank you all for watching.